In every generation, there are people who fight for what is right, who break down barriers, and who pave the way for others. Fred Sasakamus was one of those people. He was a survivor, a trailblazer, and a leader. On the ice or on the band council, Fred dedicated his life to his community. After he survived the residential school system, after he made history as one of the first indigenous players in the NHL, he returned home to give back. Fred didn't just share his love of the game with young people, he believed in them and worked hard to support them. He was a champion for youth and his legacy will live on through them, on and off the ice. Rest in peace, Fred. Danse, kakia no tintik no akumagnak, kenaskum tenuak. First of all, I want to extend my sincere prayers and condolences and sympathies to the family of Freddy Sasakamus. To all the relatives and friends at Atakakup, I, my prayer for you all is for strength, for courage, and for healing at this difficult time. We know that Freddie was one of the fir very first First Nations players to make it into the NHL. He was a leader not only on the ice, but off the ice as well. When I think of Freddie, I always think of our seven sacred teachings, because when you think of him, he really was an example of how he conducted himself and his life. I think of love, I think of respect, I think of truth and honesty, and courage, wisdom, humility. Everything said in those seven words captures Freddie Sasakamus. He's a strong man, strong individual. And as he's making his journey now into the next world, that next place, my words to the family are this. It's number one, know that he's no longer suffering or hurting. Know that he's going to a better place. And also know that we're gonna see him and all of our loved ones again. It's time for him to rest now. He's done lots for all of us right across this country. Thank you for listening. Godspeed, Freddie. It is with great sadness I express our condolences to the family of the late Senator Fred Sasakamus. On behalf of my family, myself, and all the members of the BATC communities, and especially the young people, I want to thank you, Senator, for being the role model that you were, not just to our young people, but to everyone that knew you. You're going to be missed. You played a vital role in our BATC Elders Council. All the elders looked up to you for support and guidance. I'm especially going to miss the stories you shared during our meetings. You took great pride in serving as our BATC Tribal Council Senator, and I know you would want the great work to continue in all of our communities. Nenanaskumun, for having had the opportunity to know a great man like you. We're going to miss you, Senator. Good afternoon, my name is Chief Clint Watney from the Red Pheasant Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. On behalf of my council and my community, we are extending our heartfelt condolences to the family of the late Senator Fred Sasakamus, who was a trailblazer in his time, the first NHL player from First Nations Treaty Six territory to play. He was a mentor to youth and a mentor to leadership, an inspiration to us all. He will sadly be missed. Thank you for your time, Mr. Fred Sasakamus. Ombawashte, Dante, Chief Tanya, on behalf of the Nakoda Nations of Mosquito Grizzly Bearhead Lean Man First Nation, we'd like to extend our deepest sympathies and condolences to the Sakamus family, to Chief Ahenikyu and his community, and to all who love Freddie. Freddie left many legacies. Hockey was one, and the love of the land was another. Chief Kenny Moxon, a Soto First Nation in the Three Star Hockey Club. I'd like to send my heartfelt condolences to Chief Thunderstick and the Sasakamu's family. We're out here fishing for elders today. That's a kakyo. First of all, I want to thank the Creator for the blessing of another beautiful day. Good afternoon to everybody. I'm Brad Swiftwell, Chief of the Mooseman First Nation. 
On behalf of my family and the entire membership of the Muslim First Nation, we want to send our heartfelt condolences to the friends and family and to the children of Fred and Loretta. I want to also acknowledge Dr. Fred Sosakimus, our friend, our elder and senator for all his contributions. He shared a lot of inspiring stories. He shared a lot of words of encouragement. He had great, great plans for an Aboriginal hockey team, planting the seed for all of us to nurture and watch grow. Many of us would like to be there with you. And I know a lot of friends and family would also like to be there with you. A big, big loss, not only to our people in Treaty 6 territory, but for all First Nations across Turtle Island. He leaves behind wonderful memories, and for that, I'll, I'll always be forever grateful. God bless, be well, and stay safe. Tante, this is Chief Lori Wakeup. On behalf of Sweetgrass First Nation, we send our prayers of love and compassion to Fred's family and friends. Fred's story of hardship, resilience, leadership, and success will be a legacy that will live on through his family and through Indigenous sports. Fred Sisakamus was an icon, a trailblazer, a legend, and a friend. As Fred journeys on, let's all keep our heads up and keep our sticks on the ice. On behalf of Atakaku First Nation, we would like to send our deepest condolences to Fred's entire family and all those we inspired. We lost a monument figure within our nation, a longtime leader, elder, and senator. He was our role model, mentor, and champion for our youth. On behalf of Atakaku Band, council members, elders, and youth, my family and myself, please accept our deepest condolences. Lord, we ask you to provide peace and comfort to his family and friends. Thank you and God bless. Fred was a pioneer. Uh, he gave so much of himself to his community and I considered it a pleasure to meet him and know him. He will be missed. Our deepest condolences to Fred's family and to everybody who knew and loved him. Okay, hello everybody. Hi. This is uh, Leo and my son Matthew is with me. Mm -hmm. I want to say hello to everybody over there, especially to my uh, sister-in-law, Lorette. You know, I know it's been very tough on everybody, and especially you, Lorette. You know, we miss Freddie over here. It's been tough on us, but we'll, we're getting through it, and uh, it's going to be much better tomorrow. There's so many things one can say for Freddie. He had a big following over here. You know, these are people that he didn't know himself, but they were phoning us, you know, praying for him hoping that he'd get through this illness. But that was not to be. We know now that Freddie is in a better spot with his family. And my wife, Eileen, passes her condolences to you. She's doing the camera work right now. <laughs> yeah. And Matthew and Josh. Josh couldn't be here. But Matthew is here. And yeah. Matthew is the youngest of uh, Freddie's nephews. And I know Matthew is very proud of him, like I was. Yeah. You want to say something, Matthew? Uh, you know, Freddie was really awesome. I don't I don't really know the right words to describe him, you know, wholly, but he was, he affected a lot of people, you know, people he never knew, people, you know, they really looked up to him, and uh, I know I looked up to him, he was a great guy, and a great mentor, and, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm sad he's gone, but, you know, that's just, that's just life sometimes, and uh, 
yeah, you know, we just got to remember him, keep him in our in our prayers, and uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna be a he's loved, yeah. and everyone else is loved as well. So, yeah, I guess that's all we have to say. You know, keep keep the strength, uh, Lorette, and your children. Akamemuk. Akamemuk. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Well, Freddie, I'm sure going to miss you. And uh, you've done everything for me. You looked after me in school. You looked after me when we were playing hockey. And uh, we done quite a bit of work, both of us. And uh, then we came to Kamloops when you played hockey here. And uh, that's when I met my wife here. And I'm glad for that. And uh, I'm sure going to miss you. I love you, Loretta. I'm going to, we'll support you, whatever you need, if we can help you. And your family and your grandchildren. And uh, Neil, you've done a wonderful job. And I hope you keep it up, and I know you will. I love you. Bye-bye. From the DeLorme family, and speaking on behalf of the former and present Aboriginal players who ever played the game, I want to offer my true condolences to Loretta, his wife, and to the entire Sasakamus family. In the eyes of the First Nations hockey world, it's heartbreaking losing our Aboriginal icon. We all know in 1954, Fred earned a place in history as the first treaty status player to play in the NHL. Fred always believed sports, and especially hockey, had the power to influence people. He had the kindness to unite people of all cultures. He impacted First Nations lives in hockey. He opened doors and paved the way for so many, including myself. It was truly an honor to call him a relative, a friend, a mentor, and it's something I will cherish forever. Fred Sasakamus, rest in peace, my friend. We will forever remember you. And say. I, uh, say thank, I say hello to all of you this afternoon as we celebrate the life of my very first hero, the late Freddy Sasakamus. I just want to uh, thank Freddy while he's on his journey for the wonderful memories that he that I got to share with him, but also not only myself, but my wife Lorna and my children who have got to know Freddie over the years. It's been a great honor to not only have him be my hero, but to, to spend those special moments with him over time. I just want to thank Loretta and all of the family, all the kids, all the siblings for sharing their father with us your husband, your mosho, your chapman. And thank you for sharing with us, not only my family, but I know my community of Muskeg Lake, who he, he loved to talk about, but also the people across this country who have been touched in some way by this, the, by this human being who set precedence in this country for, uh, for those of us who are sports-minded people. And uh, we're forever grateful that uh, he was on this earth while I was a 
Hey guys, this is Brandon Montour of the Buffalo Sabres here. Um, just wanted to, you know, reach out, send my condolences. Um, you know, obviously, you guys are going through a tough time with um, passing a Fred there, but um, just wanted to say sorry for your loss. And, um, you know, I know with this tough time here, um, you guys are all, you know, sticking together and staying strong and staying healthy. And, um, you know, I just wanted to um, send you guys my best wishes. And, um, yeah, hope you guys take care. Thanks. Hi, my name is John Shabbat. On behalf of our Indigenous NHL alumni and the NHL alumni, I'd like to send my condolences to Fred's family. Fred was a great man. Not only was he our first of many, but he gave himself to his community and the people across the country. He did so much more and was so much more than just a hockey player. We appreciated him, we loved him, we wish the family well. And again, our condolences and thank you for sharing him with us. Hello, I'm Blair Atchenham, member of the Sweetgrass First Nation. I'd like to offer my deepest condolences to the Sasakamoose family and friends as we remember our friend Freddie. In the last few years, I've been involved with a NHL alumni group that travels to the north on behalf of the Indigenous people to try and spread inspiration to our youth. I feel without Freddie, that wouldn't be possible today. And we thank him for him to be the first Indigenous player in the National Hockey League. One of my favorite stories and highlights of my life was a few years back when Neil, I think, contacted me to to be involved in the opening ceremony at SAS Place with the Chicago Blackhawks and Edmonton Oilers were playing an exhibition game. You know, I was able to share the light that Freddie created with his with his success, and uh, still to this day is one of the highlights of my life just to be involved and, you know, now have Fred as a friend. It was very sad news when we heard the passing and you'd be truly missed the person that he, he was, but he will never be forgotten. My name is Gene Ojek. First, I would like to give my sincere condolences to Loretta and the entire Sasakamoose family and ask for the creator to give you all strength at this time of grief. Freddie will be missed, but never forgotten. Every indigenous player that came after him cannot forget the road he paved for our success. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You will forever have our respect. Thank you, Fred. I'm Chico Resch. I want to thank this Sakamoose family for allowing me to say a few words about my friend, Freddie. When I was a young boy growing up in Regina, I had a hockey card, and the player on that hockey card was a player by the name of Fred Sasakamus. I would look at that and wonder, what is he like? Who is he? It was 55 years later that I finally met Freddie, and I found out who he was, what his uh, love was in life, and we spent hours talking. I found out that Freddie, more than anything, loved his wife Loretta and his family. He loved his culture and he loved his language. When I first heard Freddie pray in Cree, it melted my heart. Freddie loved and respected almost everyone he met, but he had special compassion for the young people who were struggling with alcohol abuse or other issues. Freddie could see the problem, but better than that, Freddie could always see the potential. And Freddie, I think, could also see a little bit of himself in some of the struggles of these young people. Freddie was kind, compassionate, generous, but most of all, Freddie was forgiving. But what I liked most about Freddie and admired was what he wasn't. Freddie was not bitter. He was not angry. He didn't live in self-pity, even though he received some hard knocks in life as well as some prejudice. No, my friends, Freddie, he chose the spirit of love, and I loved him dearly for it. It's hard to put into words how big of an inspiration Fred was. 
I will never forget the impact that he had on my life. Thank you for being such a great ambassador for the game of hockey and for the Indigenous people. And to the family, I just want to send my sincere condolences on behalf of myself and my family. We're thinking of you through this hard time. Rest easy, Fred. Hello, uh, Dwight King here. First of all, I'd like to send my condolences out to the family and friends of Fred. Uh, personally, I can't thank him enough for showing us young Aboriginal hockey players that there is a path and a way to live our dreams of playing in the NHL. And not just that, his work that he's put into the communities, obviously working with the youth, being a positive influence and a role model towards every youth, not just hockey players, showing them that with determination and hard work, there is there is a way to reach your goals. Um, also, I'd like to just say that the lives he's touched in his journey will be something that he should be proud of and a legacy that will live on forever. Hi, I'm Reggie Leach. I'm here to celebrate the life of Dr. Fred Zakamus, ambassador of hockey to our First Nation youth across the country. Um, Freddie uh, was a wonderful, wonderful man. I've known him over 50 years. And he's, he's the kindest person. And the love that he has for his family, for his community, for who he is. Uh, we're all going to miss him. And especially for myself, he became a mentor for me and, uh, and for um, setting the tone for all the rest of us. And, and, in the, in the hockey world. So, Freddie, rest in peace, my friend. I love you. I'm going to miss you. Well, Jeff, uh, my name is Jordan Blacksmith, and I currently go to the Carleton University here in Ottawa while playing for the varsity men's hockey team. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge um, the, the passing of Fred Saskamus, uh, the founder of the Chief Thunder Stick Hockey uh, National Championships. Uh, that's in Saskatchewan. Um, it's it's a very exciting tournament, something I'm truly honored to be a part of. Uh, I just wanted to express my condolences to Fred Saskamo's family, friends, and all the people uh, in his hometown, and all the people involved in the Fred Saskamo's tournament. Uh, hope to see you guys next year, and uh, stay safe. Hey, Neil. Uh, Silas here, Niposh. Uh, I just want to send my condolences to you guys and, and your family, and the rest of Fred's family, uh, you guys are in our prayers and we'll keep praying for you guys. Thank you. Why well, Jeff, friends and family of the late Fred Sasakamos. My name is Vern Cooper from the Solanapi Chiefs. I was deeply saddened to hear the passing of our indigenous hockey icon. I'm sending my condolences to his family on behalf of the Solanapi Chiefs and myself. It was an honor to have met and taken part in your national hockey tournament last year in Saskatoon. The boys and I look forward to coming back and competing for another championship. We will miss seeing you at the rink and we'll continue to keep your family in our prayers. Rest in peace, Freddie. Tante, my name is Scott Daniels, former Indigenous NHL hockey player from Mistawasas, Nahiawa. Tante, I'm Sydney Daniels, Harvard Women's Ice Hockey Assistant Coach and former Harvard Captain and also a proud member of Mistawasas, Nahiawa. The Daniels family would like to send our deepest condolences to the Sasakamoos family, friends, and fans alike. My earliest memories of meeting Fred when I was about nine or ten. My parents, Noel and Thelma Daniels, were very close with Fred and his wife, Loretta. When Fred was leaving, he grabbed my hand and he said, one day I'll be watching you on TV. Many, many years later, I came back after retiring. Fred came and found me and said, I told you we'd be seeing you on TV he said, you made your people and your family proud. We will always remember Fred with the spark on his eye, his kind smile, and his eagerness to tell a good story. Well, Fred, you did your family proud, and most of all, you did the Indigenous people proud. Your legacy will live on forever. Hi, DJ King here. First of all, I'd like to send my condolence to the Fred Sackamus family. Fred paved the way for so many of us young Aboriginal players. He started the chain that the opportunity and belief that making it to NHL is a possibility, and that will continue to live on forever. Not only did he leave that opportunity in the game of hockey, 
but he showed us that staying true to your roots and giving back to your com community is a big thing. He led by example and he always showed us his true character. So with that again, I'd like to send my condolences to the Fred Sakamus family. Since coming to the league, people have often asked me what it means to be a Blackhawk. And for me, a huge part of this is honoring the legacy of a man like Fred who wore the sweater. He was selfless and tireless competitor for good and inspiration. He paved the way for Indigenous hockey players, but he lived a life that was a model for me, my teammates, and all hockey players. The Blackhawks family will never forget him. Hello everyone, I'm Brian Trache, and Freddie Sasakamus was my friend. And it's always hard to say goodbye at any time, but my heart aches as I say goodbye to a very dear friend. My heart is heavy for Fred's family, his friends, his community, and all First Nations youth who were touched by his stories, his words of encouragement and inspiration. Fred was a powerful presence in my life, who always lifted my spirits and made my heart smile with every greeting and each visit. He shared his story of learning to skate and play hockey. And the priest would say he skates like he's chasing rabbits. So our greetings and goodbyes were always the same. Chasing rabbits, Fred? Chasing rabbits, Brian. My dad saw him play for the Moose Jaw Canucks in 1951 or 52 and said he saw the fastest human being he'd ever seen in a pair of skates. Now I will grieve, but I know Fred would want us all to live life to the fullest. So I will honor and celebrate Fred's name and memory, the fastest human being to ever wear a pair of skates and inspire generations of athletes to pursue their dreams like they're chasing rabbits. Rest high, Fred. Hey everyone, I'm Zach Whitecloud with the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I just wanted to send a quick video message to Fred and his family, uh, thanking Fred for being um, the incredible role model that he was uh, for leading the way um, you know, for young Indigenous players like myself and, and many others um, around North America. And uh, I just wanted to send my condolences to his friends and family and um, that I wish and uh, that everyone's uh, staying safe and staying healthy and, and uh, taking care of one another. So um, thanks. Tanssin tuotti entik. Mä ihan muhti on siivas on maskotsi siikohti. My name is Willie Littlechild, and on behalf of Helen, my wife, our children and grandchildren, we'd like to first of all express our deepest sympathies to the Sasakamus family. Secondly, as the international chief of treaties 6, 7, and 8, we want to recall that our elder, Albert Lightning of Muskotsis, honored Freddy with a Cree name. His chief's name is Chief Running Deer. And thirdly, the, as the ambassador for the World Indigenous Nations Sports and also the Olympic Winter Games in the, on behalf of Ted Hodson, Larry and Harley Hodson, we want to remember that he was also honored into the Native Hockey Hall of Fame. Lastly, on behalf of the Edmonton Oilers organizations, the Community Foundation, we'd like to pay tribute to a former residential school hockey player who went to the Chicago Blackhawks and bid him farewell for all the outstanding contributions he made not only to his community, to hockey, to Canada, and indeed the Indigenous world. Thank you. Hi, hi. Hi, Neil, and the whole Sasakmus family. This is uh, Ted Nolan. 
and I just really want to pass on our, our sincere condolences from, from my family to, to yours uh, and the loss of your father, uh, Fred. But, uh, you know, I never had, uh, I never had the privilege uh, of seeing your father play. But I, but I did have the honor of, of working with him on a few occasions, and I'll tell you what: if he was, uh, if he was half the half the player that he was a man, he must have been one heck of a player. Uh, and he, he was a, a true trailblazer. Uh, and he played in the National Hockey League when there was only six six teams. Can, can you imagine that? So, um, so in, in our language, um, there's no there's no goodbye. Uh, we always say "Mama P. Quabman," and we'll we'll see you later. Which means we'll see you later, my friend. Hey everyone, Carrie Price here. I just wanted to take a second to wish my sincerest condolences to everyone who is close to Mr. Sasaskamoose. I also wanted to say how much I appreciate the path that was paved by Fred for First Nations people in hockey. I hope the very best for his family and I'm very proud of him and what he was able to accomplish. Thank you. <laughs>